Hello everybody, my name is Max191 and this is World of Tanks Blitz. In front of us we have the IS-5 or Object 730. Um, IS stands for Iosif Stalin. This is the name of uh, one of the leaders of Russia and also the Soviet Russia <coughs> and Soviet Union. Um, now, the real name of the vehicle is Object 730. The Object 730, or IS-5, because here in the game, this is the name of the vehicle, IS-5, uh, and the IS-6 were the two machines which were competing for uh, the name IS-6 in reality from the Object 730 in commas IS-5 were made about three vehicles which all of these vehicles were um, in a prototype stage they were made for testing the hull, the turret, and uh, some of the firing solutions. Um, by firing solutions, I mean the guns. Now, the final prototype was armed with the 122mm D25TA. Um, TA stands uh, for, in this particular case, stands for uh, hydraulic assistance for one of the axes I don't know which one because the people which were at least so much um, in the knowledge of this vehicle didn't know so yeah <coughs> now the IS-5 has frontal armor of uh, the hull, 122, uh, 20, I'm sorry, millimeters, um, but with the so-called pike nose and the angling and everything, this is the right way to stand against your opponent. There is no other way. If you try to side scrape this particular part of the armor is going to be over penetrated pretty easily the biggest weak spot of the IS-5 frontal armor is the lower glacis because of the pike nose they had to de-angle the lower glacis and in reality the lower glacis has about uh, 180 millimeters of actual thickness which the shell must over penetrate <coughs> which uh, in uh, all of you know in tier 8 it isn't very big amount of armor um, uh, for the frontal part though if uh, the lower glacis is covered you will have pretty bad situation and also pretty bad day then and only then you must try to penetrate the commander's viewing ports and hatch you must be armed with a very very again I'm saying um, accurate gun because otherwise you will bounce off the turret or I know I'm going to piss off Wargaming now but I don't give a crap um, or you can press number 2 or key number 2 and become a pro with uh, the premium ammunition of most of the vehicles Again, you must try, even with premium ammo, to over penetrate the frontal part. The frontal part. 
the <coughs> sides here which my cursor you can see and over here and piece of advice if you're firing with premium ammo or gold yes war gaming it's premium and gold ammo if you can buy it with real money it's premium and gold um, fire in the freaking light here you will penetrate and most likely you will damage the ammo rack or you may explode the vehicle <coughs> for the turret, frontal armor of the turret 201 millimeters with this amount of sloping angling round roundiness uh, yes new words in English made by me and everything else you cannot even dream of penetrating this turret frontally Yes, another new English word. Uh, word. Um, you will need, and I'm not exaggerating here, a naval gun. Or uh, the gun of the heavy. Just for a sec. British tanks. Heavy 100 and. Uh, 100, 215B 183. But for all intents and purposes, the 183mm gun from this thing is a secondary gun from a, a type of battleship. So, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. The side armor. <coughs> Do not try to fire into the log. Is the side armor is pretty weak of the of the hull only 120 millimeters but the hull is angled downwards and these things here are storage boxes and also this is a space armor and you will need to over penetrate over 500 millimeters of armor so yeah try to fire between <laughs> between the support wheels of the track for the turret Oh holy crap. Um for the turret you must uh, well in the side you can penetrate not reliably but you can. Uh the easiest way to penetrate the turret and the IS5 is from the ass, I'm sorry from the back. Um <coughs> the back of the turret is uh very poorly armored only 90 millimeters the hole also only 60 uh, the site of the term the turret i forgot is 129 but with this count this count okay this amount of angling uh well um you will need a premium ammo or a very very big gun All of this armor is resulting in a bit of the weight though, 50 tons nearly, or 49.04. Uh, the engine, it isn't very powerful, only 819 brake horsepower. The max speed is 42 kilometers an hour, and the traverse speed of the hull is 33.62 degrees. For the turret, is 29.16 degrees per second, which isn't very fast, but also it isn't very slow. Just for a second, let me open my second container for the day. Yay! Another hour. Now for the gun, as I said. They choose to arm the IS-5 slash object 730 with the 122mm D25TA. This is a type of gun which is, uh, well, uh, separate type of the 122D25T 
but uh, also the TA version is uh, of sorts um, some kind of uh, improved version of the 25T but it's less accurate yeah Russian watching Soviet watching to be honest here now, the time for reload between each show is 12.86 seconds, which is with equipment, and it's her red dress. Um, the DPM, it isn't very good, because the rate of fire is about 4 shells, 0 0.73 or 5 shells in a minute which in real life maybe it's a, in reality it's about 3 shells because the 122 millimeter gun ha needs a 122 millimeter shell which also well it weighs a bit and in real life the water won't be able to sustain four or five shells in minutes in minute for a very very long time the aiming time is 6.3 seconds which is again horrendous but you don't have any kind of choice um, the dispersion is uh, all 350 for 100 meters which, to be honest, this is a, Russia, a Soviet gun, which means that you don't need even to aim, because, yeah. Um, now, <coughs> average penetration and average damage in this particular order. Armor piercing, 232 millimeters of pen, or penetration, 400 hit points will be shaved off your enemy if you penetrate on average in reality you will shave off between 380 and 490 now with the premium ammo high explosive anti-tank which has very nice penetration values of 297 on average and you will shave off on average 340 hit points in reality you will over penetrate uh, most of your targets this is true but you will deal about 320 to 360 damage which it isn't very big amount high explosive 67 millimeters of, da of uh, penetration 500 hit points will be shaved off if you see an Ramatau Borsik in front of you or better if you see in front of you the Waffentrager of Panzer IV I will say this only once. Use the freaking high explosive. Most likely you will kill him with two freaking shots. If you do not, well, ram him. <coughs> so many times I have seen an Russian or British or Chinese or American or no matter what kind tank firing armor piercing on a light armored vehicle this is bonkers use the freaking high explosive if you do not kill him, kill him with one single shot most likely you will damage his samurai his driver his radio operator um, his gun his loader most likely will be pretty much dead 
in the case of uh, the Ramatal Bolsik or the Waffen Trigger. If in front of you you have a Rue or Leo Leopard, to be honest, the Leopard is made out of ammunition storage. Use the freaking high explosive. Now I will play one game. Um, here as well, the request was uh, for a new review of the IS-5 because some nerves were well were applied to this vehicle and so on and so on. And time to that. Um, so let's try. And let's see what is going on here. Why the heck I have all of these moves? Um, now where we are going? Okay. Towards the freaking game. This VK is pretty very fast. But in reality, this is the first prototype for the Type 2. Okay, here we have somebody who got the idea. Also. By the way, this was a high explosive shot. <clears throat> okay, flying to. Um, also, as you all see, I am not using... Well, this was a bad situation. I'm not using uh, my premium ammo. Oh, hello! The T-34 didn't expect this penetration, but yeah. You were pretty much penetrated, dude. Oh, hi, Tiger P. Yeah. No. He knows that he cannot penetrate. The turret screen. Only he can penetrate and he penetrated the commander's hatch. My commander's a bit wounded, but uh, he can deal with that. I'm sure that he is penetrated, but oh, the love Okay, let me deal. Again, here I'm playing this game. This isn't a very good game for me because I killed only one dude. With the IS-5, most occasions I'm dealing with three or more vehicles and they are pretty much dead. But this team was a very nice team and they didn't give me the chance to do that. Which is a very, very good thing for a team, to be honest. Only 1,500 damage, only 37k of uh, credits, uh, doubled experience uh, 2k, without premium account, I can't put a premium account, but I don't need it at the moment. Um, now for the efficiency, as you all see, first shot on the MX CDC. Again, it was a high explosive shot. The reason the side armor of the CDC is pretty much weak. Do not underestimate the Dracula doll. No matter that the Dracula is um, made out of the CDC, 
uh, the Dracula has paste armor on the sides and uh, you won't be able to deal very big amount of damage. For the T-34, well, he showed me uh, his lower glazes, this is why I was able to over penetrate his armor and deal a nice amount of damage. <coughs> For uh, the T26E4 I can show you where my shot landed and why I had only 381 uh, damage dealt to him. For the Love, well I don't have a Love but I know where to, sh to shoot at it when uh, uh, the player with these kind of vehicles are trying to side scrape so yeah or angle their armor now for the t26 because i have one i shot at his sight but my shell landed here which means that i need to over penetrate just for a second side armor uh, 76 millimeters with this supporting wheel which is uh, let's say with total thickness of uh, 60 centimeters yeah <laughs> so I am uh, also surprised that this shot counted or I have uh, managed to shoot down the support here or the bump stop because this thing is uh, with if I'm not in mistake yes is with uh, a, some sort of bar suspension was I don't remember and these things are bump stops so the wheel cannot go very fast up and won't be able to break this linkage over here um, this is the only reason why I got only 380 damage from this shot so yeah this is it as you all saw if you can angle the vehicle you can uh, also side scrape but it isn't very good because you will need a particular position like I showed you one and also between the time of uh, getting in this position and angling the tank correctly you will be penetrated at least once my vehicle was penetrated twice so yeah I hope you all enjoyed the video if this is the case you all know what to do um, again, I will appeal to all of you, please show me some love as well. Yeah, I'm doing this for fun, but uh, for me also it's a bit of satisfaction when I see a like or some kind of comment and something like that. Maxo91, have a nice day and bye-bye!